Welcome YouTube, Profil is back and today I'm going to show you the project of the automatic egg incubator that we have recently built. The automatic incubator is equipped with a fan and a heater and creates the optimal condition for the 21 days of incubation period. After the 21 days, the result hopefully will be this. These are baby chicks that you will see. This one here is a special breed. Whoa, <laughs> it jumped. They, they, ow, they are really good, okay. It doesn't like me. Okay, sorry. Um, the key aspects of the incubation are three. We have the temperature control, we have the egg turning, and we have also the humidity. About the temperature control, this is the most important aspect. For chicken eggs, the temperature should remain stable at uh, about 37.8 degrees. Uh, this temperature may change depending on the breed and maybe also on the egg type like duck or maybe gooses. In order to monitor the temperature, we have installed three Arduino temperature sensors on the top level, on the intermediate level, and also on the lower level. While you can accept slight fluctuations of the temperature, uh, this is also due to natural behavior of the chicken because they typically go away from their nest to eat and drink, so you can accept the fact that the temperature sometimes goes below this threshold. You for sure cannot accept the temperature going above 38 degrees because otherwise you are going to overeat the eggs and this is not good for them. In order to ensure an even and correct distribution of the heat inside of the incubator we have installed the two fans, one on the top and one on the bottom of the incubator. Uh, this was the initial configuration, it was quite good, but we had slight differences inside the temperatures among the three levels. So we have installed a three very powerful fan that we have placed at the bottom of the incubator. This was really efficient in moving the air because the air was almost, the temperature was almost the same on all over the room here, but it was overheating too much because the, the motor was too powerful. So in the next version, we are going to place only this big fan at the top of the incubator because it is power enough to move the air inside the room here. About the ventilation, that is a really important aspect in order to exchange the air with the external environment, we have two holes, one on top of the incubator and one on the bottom of the incubator. In the future, we may want to install a small fence like PC fence in order to force the air exchange with the external. About the heaters, we have an on and off control following an hysteresis cycle and in order to set the lower and the higher hysteresis limit, you can use the smartphone interface. Um, we have two heaters. The main heater is the one that kicks in, is the most powerful one, 500 watts, and kicks in when the temperature is low, like when you're stunting the system or maybe if you are opening the door. And when the temperature goes above 36.8, I don't want to have any kind of overshoot in the temperatures. I want to have a very slow and stable control. So in order to maintain the temperature here, I installed an, a 100 watt very smaller resistor. Both resistors are placed in front of the fan in order to maximize the heat distribution and Arduino by controlling the temperature is able to um, choose which is the one to use depending on the situation. Turning the egg is the second most important point because it prevents baby chicks from sticking into the shell of the egg. And this is very important for having a successful latching because otherwise they will be dead inside the egg. To do that, we have designed a four bar linkage system that rotates of 90 degree both rotation directions, the eggs. As you can see, there is a stepper motor on the top of the incubator. We, in order to uh, have a bit of more torque, we have used a double reduction stage speed reducer uh, with uh, pulleys and timing belts. This gives emotion to the main mechanism and you arrive inside the, the main shaft of the, of the incubator where you have inside the room here three levels. On the, uh, every level is able to host about from 30 to 50 eggs. Remember that you have to 
leave a free space between them because you want the air to correctly recirculate between them in order to correctly exchange the heat with them. You don't want to have uh, too much things inside. On the back of the incubator, you may also want to see the encoder. The encoder is mounted onto the main shaft and is the device on which I have mounted two small metal bolts. They are defining the limit positions for the mechanism. In particular, 90 degree full, fully clockwise direction rotation and then 90 degree fully counterclockwise direction rotation. When you power up the system, Arduino tries to ohm the system to the fully clockwise rotation direction. Then once every hour, this is a parameter that you can set in the software, it rotates the eggs. Typically in the nature, eggs do it with their beach. As you see, also you will see when they are bigger that the shape is done to take the egg and rotate it. Then um, you will see in the next video the fact that there is a moment that are the pre-etching and the etching phases in which you don't want to turn anymore the eggs because in this phase, uh, little chicks are going to prepare to come out from the egg and so you have to leave them here and lay horizontally so you don't have to turn them anymore. The third important aspect is the humidity level, the humidity control. In this case, we did everything manually because we did not have neither time and material to do that automatically. Uh, we have placed water basins at the bottom of the incubator. Uh, initially, we did not have mm, that much good uh, water content inside the, um, the room here, the incubator, so we had to move the fan correctly. In particular, we had to direct airflow directly onto the water surface in order to enhance the evaporation of the water. In this way, we had 30-35% uh, water content in the air, and so this was good for the incubation. In the next version, we are going to implement a um, better system to do this automatically, without being here to always fill the water. The humidity is the main reason why we have chosen our fridge to do the system because, okay, it is in fact a resistant structure. In fact, we were able to create the mechanism. It has good insulation materials, as you can see here, and this is very good for controlling the temperature. But the most important thing is, is that it is made of plastic. So it is water resistant, and at the end of every etching, you're able to sanitize and clean it correctly. As you can see, the incubator does not have any kind of uh, uh, interface for the human. Uh, we do not have any screen, any indicator, because I didn't want to provide any hardware support for the screen or for the LEDs, uh, for the signaling or something. Since I have used an Arduino Uno Wi-Fi that hosts a Wi-Fi module on it, I have decided to create a web page that is displaying all the data, like the temperatures and humidity level, and you can also interact with the incubator because you can set the temperatures that you want, the threshold for the hysteresis cycle, and you can also move manually the motors. Finally, on the back of the incubator you can see what is called my electrical cabinet. It is not, it, there are a lot of tangled wires, it is not an electrical cabinet because I often had to do a lot of electrical modification and wiring the scheme, so I prefer in this first version to understand what I needed and understand the schematics, so in the second version I'm going to define all the components and all the wirings and I'm going to include everything in a professional box. About the components, I have a PC power supply, 
uh, is very useful because it drives enough current and provides a lot of voltages 3.3 5 and 12 volts that are perfectly for all the um, slave devices onto the cabinet i have the relay module that i use to command fan and also heaters they are 220 volts alternate current that i cannot drive with the arduino i have a small green homemade board that hosts the connection for the multiple uh, sensors temperature sensor I have another green board that hosts the driver of the motor and on top of the incubator you can see the stepper motor NEMA 23 motors finally there is another small board here that hosts some resistors in order to have the connection with the inductor sensor as I told you inductor sensor are, are those sensors that are able to see if metal passes in front of them or not if the metal passes it gives you 0 volt if the metal does not pass there is free space it gives you 12 volts this negative logic is handled inside the software and Arduino is able to understand when the mechanism has reached its limit position so I can rotate it um, correctly, let's say. This hence the presentation of the version 1 of the incubator. I still have a lot of work to do. We are planning a lot of modifications so please stay tuned and look for the next developments. I will use a Raspberry Pi together with Arduino in order to control the system. I will for sure implement the um, screen here because I want to plot the temperatures all over the incubation period and the temperatures over the day because I want to see data here and I want to see some statistics and I will also implement the automatic control for the humidity level because it's crucial the idea is that uh, you place your eggs here and after 21 days I will disturb them even if they're sleeping after 21 days you will see some of them so stay tuned give me support and we will see what we can do